Hey everybody, in this lesson we'll copy our own mp4 file to the server and stream it over HTTP to Flash and to an iPad running iOS. All we'll have to do in each media player is just change the URL a bit and the server does the work to repackage the file for each format. So this is the Flash Media Server root folder and we're going to go into the web root folder. This is the Apache web root folder, the VOD folder. This is the default location from which the server streams video over HTTP. So any video file, F4V or MP4 that you dump into this folder, you can play from a media player in iOS or in Flash. So let's copy an MP4 file to this folder. Got some on the desktop. Let's copy train. And then we're going to open the Flash Media Server sample player which is in samples, video player. This sample player uses strobe media playback. So to stream that train file, we're going to say HTTP. We're going to use localhost as the domain because this player is on the same computer as the server. And then this is the part that tells the server how to package the file. HDS VOD. So that's HTTP dynamic streaming dash VOD. And that's configurable. We'll do that in another lesson. And then the name and file extension of the file, train.mp4. And then you request an F4M file, which is a Flash Media Manifest file. Let's stream the train mp4 file from that same web root VOD folder on the server to an iPad. We'll open Safari. Now instead of localhost, we're going to use the IP address for the computer running Flash Media Server. It's a local IP address. They're on the same network. And then instead of HDS-VOD, we're going to use HLS for HTTP Live Streaming, Apple's version of HTTP Streaming. We use the same train.mp4 file name, and then we use .m3u8. That's the file you're requesting from the media player. That's the HLS manifest file format. The server generates that on the fly when you request it. So there's that same file playing on an iPad and all we changed was the URL. So in our next tutorial I'll explain how to configure the location of the video files on the server and also how we can configure that portion of the URL HDS-VOD or HLS-VOD.